So this is part one to introduction to trigonometry. And then the first thing we want to look at in this video is how to measure angles. Now, if you think about angles, angles are defined by two rays with a common endpoint or vertex, right? And this is what we define to be the angle here. It has a side, a side, a vertex, and a measure. If we talk about the measure of an angle, the most common way to measure an angle is with degrees. And the way that a degree is defined is the degree is defined as 1 360th of a circle. So if we think about degrees, one complete circle is 360 degrees. So if you think about half a circle, we measure half a circle to be 180 degrees. If we would measure a quarter of a circle so that you think about a circle going all the way around, if you go not halfway but half of halfway, then you get what's called a 90 degree angle or a right angle. So if we think about um, angles, it's pretty easy to think about. A circle's 360. Um, half would be 180. If we start here and go to here, it's 180. This would be 90. Half of that would be 45. And from there, we kind of see what a 30 degree angle looks like. A 30 degree angle is about here. Right? Less than 45. More than 90. If you think about a 60 degree angle, a 60 degree angle would be a little bit less than 45. I'm sorry, a little bit more than 45, but less than 90. So if this is 90 and this is 45, then if you think about a 60 degree angle, it looks roughly like this. Now, obviously, you can use a protractor to get a more exact measure, but that's what we mean when we say measuring angles with degrees. And that's a common way to measure it, but Usually in more advanced math, we use what's called a radian. So let's define what a radian is. A radian is defined as 1 over 2 pi of a circle. So rather than dividing a circle into 360 parts and defining each part as a degree, what we're going to define is a circle, which is divided by 1 over 2 pi parts, and each part is going to be called a radian. The easiest way to put some examples to that, let's think about us having a circle. If we have a circle all the way around is 2 pi. So if we think about halfway, halfway would be pi. So the distance from here to here, the measure of that angle is pi. Half of pi would be 1 half pi. So pi over 2 Pi over 2 in this case is just like a 90 degree angle, right? So we say that this angle right here, since it's one fourth of a circle, is pi over 2 radians. Let's be careful there. If we think about pi over 2 over 2 pi, then that's simply equal to, let's multiply this side by 2 and this side by 2. That's pi over 4 pi, or simply 1 fourth. So pi over 2 is defined as 1 fourth of a circle. Uh, another way to think about it is it's just 90 degrees. Pi over 2 is the same as 90 degrees. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to memorize various radian measures. So let's take a circle and divide it into four parts. This is both 0 and 2 pi, right? Because you can start here at 0, but if you go all the way around, it's 2 pi. If you go halfway, it's pi. If you went half of halfway, it would be 1 half of pi, so that's pi over 2. That's what we saw before. Now let's think about this angle here. So this angle here, one way to think about this, this is this 1 quarter two quarter, three quarters. This is three quarters of a circle. Each quarter is pi over two, so that's one pi over two, two of pi over two, three pi over two. 
Let's further subdivide it. If you subdivide 0 and pi over 2, half of that gives you pi over 4, because half of a half is a fourth, so that's pi over 4. If we split this quadrant here, let's think what this angle here is going to be. That's 1, 2, 3, 3 parts, so it's 3 pi over 4. Let's split this side. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, that's 5 pi over 4. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, that's 7 pi over 4. So this is what you're going to want to memorize. So I'll give you time to write this down. In addition to that, there are two other very common ones that you want to memorize. And that's pi over 3 and pi over 6. You can always work out what these are, but they're so common you want to memorize them. Pi over 3 is going to be this equivalent to 60 degrees, and pi over 6 is going to be 30 degrees. So that's the introduction to measuring angles. In the next video, we're going to convert between radians and degrees.